episode. Yes! The next episode of the Rift Breaker. We're back. Let's get artillery towers set up. Flamer towers, why not? Geothermal, of course. We have a lot of geothermal to uh, capitalize on. Some in our base and whatnot. Headquarters level 3 we need to do. Which we should be able to do now. Uh, we're okay on all this. There's nuclear mine. There's grenades. There's the sentry gun. Man, sentry gun is so good. That requires armory level 2, huh? That requires headquarters level 4. Which will require us to upgrade stuff and things. Got it. Okay. Orbital scanner is already done. Dink. You know, I didn't even realize that the cantor picks are in those little flesh pods. <laughs> it's gross. Remind yourself, don't say flesh pods again. Damn it, you said it. I guess that makes sense, though, kind of. <laughs> it's terrifying, but I love hitting them with a hammer. So I made a funny little video, like a 30 second long video or something like that, showing uh, that you shouldn't play this game at 5% uh, gravity. Oh, I did not mean to hit you, I'm sorry dude. My B, my B. So yeah, made a funny little video showing that you shouldn't play it 5% gravity because every time resources or anything goes into the air, it just flies off and then you have to wait several minutes for it to come down and land, um, which eventually it will land, but man, it is a pain in the ass to wait. Uh, likewise, if you play at 500% gravity, everything that spawns will immediately fall to the ground. Just... You don't have to wait, worry about, like, plant debris, trees, just everything falls to the ground. Now, don't ask me how birds and stuff can fly in that, but apparently they can. I wouldn't worry about it. But it makes collection of resources way faster. You don't have to wait for stuff to hit the ground and wait that fraction of a second. It's pretty... It's pretty interesting. But, uh, yeah, whenever I play on survival, to just, like, mess around, I, I do it at 500% gravity. <laughs> Everything's way faster to do. You don't have to worry about, like, resources flying up into the air and, you know, not collecting them or anything. Okay, there's repair towers. That's good. So we can start to get some repair towers down. That's good. I should probably throw a couple of these down, though. And we're going to need more power gen. Of course we're going to need more power gen. We always need more power gen. That'll cover us for a little while. Uh, okay. So, for now, let's just put some of this down in some generalized locations. Definitely at all of our defense points. 
obviously. Uh -huh. This is primarily why I wasn't too worried about repairing all my walls and fences and stuff. Because I knew I was just going to end up putting these down eventually. I don't even know about this defensive point, to be honest. It's a little... I don't know. It's a little, little whatever. Okay. How close are we to these things? Not super close. Radar I definitely want. Uh, let's go ahead and just move this up a bit. There we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. This whole thing I'm actually going to be dismantling soon, so I'm not going to worry about uh, setting that up. This guy could use a tower, though. Yeah, all this I'm going to probably dismantle. Winds can make our life easier. Wind turbines are spinning like crazy. New technology has been developed. New buildings are available for... And since it's on its own local power grid, I don't really have to feel too bad about losing the storage. Uh, these two storage tanks, I'll just assemble over there. Whenever I get the chance. And yeah. And, I don't know. This whole area is kind of... Not sold on keeping this place as a defensive structure. I might just consolidate it all into this upper Ironium factory area and maybe try to move some more turrets over here. Yeah, I might end up doing that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh huh. Look at that, 2,927. You love to see it. Okay. So, allegedly... Allegedly, uh, enemies that are within these radar areas will not spawn there. Or enemies won't spawn inside of these areas. I don't know how true that is. But... That's what some people are saying. So, I don't know. Maybe it's true. get more storage going eventually. Some more Ironium. Might take advantage of that here pretty soon. There's actually a lot of critters down here to the south. God, you just you just love to see them get squished, don't you? Guys are kind of blending in. Are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. 
Artillery towers are going to be very useful for us going forward. Too bad. Somebody's going to have to go through that footage and tell me whether or not, uh... Oh, it's just those little bits that came back and attacked that. Whatever. Yeah, somebody's going to have to come back and... Tell me in that footage whether or not those enemies spawned on that or not. Oh, hello. That's where they spawned, huh? That's interesting. Oh, and something else I found out, by the way. Uh, depending on the tower, uh, your towers can't shoot through you, as in your mech. So, uh, yeah. Found that out when I had a rocket launcher tower shoot me instead of the enemy. Now, it didn't hurt me, obviously, but still. Just one example of your towers not being able to do their job if you're standing in front of them. So, kind of have to keep that in mind a little bit. But other than that, extra emphasis on the t e. You guys know anyone that actually talks like that? Puts weird emphasis on. Hey, we got more. Nice. That's interesting. Haven't gotten floor yet. It's kind of neato. Okay. How's, uh, how's this look? Got standard, standard, and more standard. So, that's the one I just picked up. Here's one I just had for some reason, and here's the starting one. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a, not carbon, but kind of a whiter look, white stripe look. Whereas this one's the the yellow with the black on the border. It's kind of nice. I like that. I could actually come in here and Carbonium storage is full. We should construct you know, more storage. cover everything with flooring, but I just do not care. <laughs> we'll be honest with you. I just do not care. What the heck happened over here? Why? Oh. Must have ran out. Interesting. Now that is an interesting directionality for these enemies to come from. Top left, huh? Uh, I'll probably come out, like, over here to fight all these guys through the mud. I'll probably try to kill them on my own. I've got the hammers now. Nothing can stop me, right? Artillery towers. We're going to need to build some artillery towers. BRB need to go to the store. What you going to get? You going to get some Reese's Pieces? Go get some. I love how the bioluminescence works in this game, by the way. It's like... I don't know, vibration-based, so, like, you can touch stuff and it'll happen, or if I take my hammers and just go, BOOM! The shockwave will light everything up. I love that. It's it's a feature that didn't need to be in the game, but I love it. You can also see, like, native creatures running through and lighting everything up. I love it. I love how this game looks. It looks so good. It's the little things, you know? A new technology 
has been developed. Sentinel Towers New level 2. Are available for construction. It's not too bad. Here we go. I'm just going to build one for now, right there. And let's go for one right here. There we go. That'll probably be able to extend out. Uh, oh. Right there on the mini map, so about here. Why you build hammers? Carbonium deposit depleted. If you're curious how I'm doing that, uh, if you attack with certain melee weapons while you're dodging or dashing, it will uh, do a different attack. Like with the sword, I think it turns the majority of your dash into an attack itself. Although it's a little, it's a little weird. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. Um, okay, so let's uh, see here. We got enough to do this, so let's go ahead and upgrade our Sentinel Towers. That is going to make them consume a little bit more power, but uh, does help a bit with their offensive capabilities. And since we're not going super buck wild on all of our turrets, um, like this is our most heavily defended outpost here. Not too bad. Yeah, it's like we've only got freaking 40, 40-ish turrets. Not a whole lot of turrets, all things considered. But uh, not an insignificant amount. Of course, we'll uh, throw an artillery tower in here. put uh, two over here. Now, I'm going to need to also build more storage for our ammo. Yes, yes. Now, I still don't know what, like, the best ratio is as far as how many of these tower ammo factories you need and all that. The main consideration is, is that each one of these takes up an ironium and a carbonium every time they need to be used. So, that is a consideration you need to take, especially, in my opinion, when it comes to ironium. It's like, right now, we're at equilibrium for our ironium spending. Um... So we should probably expand out a little bit more. Although it would be nice if we could get uh, just the upgraded versions of some other stiff. Of course we'll get that. There we go. Radar is always nice. Reflective armor. I'm going to build one of these. Crafting completed reason for that is because uh, I'm going to fill up the rest of this with uh, the energy shields. 
while we're waiting for our Ironium to catch up, I'm just going to go ahead and build a little Carbonium deposit depleted. Ironium dealy do here. Just so we can at least capitalize on some of this. Should be plenty to power these, and then some. Go ahead and build. Ah, I was gonna say build a couple of those, but never mind. Never mind. Just kidding. Yep, yeah, we'll go the long way. Be smart. I would like to build one of these. Perfecto. Okay, so you're almost done. And this guy is also almost done. 219? That's like nothing. Just sell it, actually. Sell it, and I'll just grab the rest of it myself. So... I'm going to need to get that storage back. Well, actually, no. We, we could just get rid of those two right now, and it won't be that big a deal. Let's go ahead and do that while I'm uh, sitting there getting this last little bit. It's going to be a second until we get it all, but we will get it. There we go. That Ironium is officially Dunsky's. How are you looking? That's got 305. Is each one of these nodes 305? Have they never noticed that before? A new technology oh. has been Interesting. Developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. So our, uh... Ammo factories are done making ammo, so that's pretty good. Pretty good. I am going to be disassembling this whole thing eventually. Once uh, this Ironium gets used up, which probably won't be that much longer. Mola! How the hell are you, my man? I'm great. I am fantastic. And this guy does not have enough power. I guess I should have seen that coming. Didn't have enough time to accrue any more. So let's just uh, grab a couple of these, I suppose. No, it just... It's only got to last until the morning. I'm not too worried about it. FL, what up? Have you not seen Riftbreaker yet, FL? Yeah, my man. Riftbreaker. Doing things and stuff. Breaking rifts. So on and so forth. Oh, man. I got 15 episodes of this up on my YouTube. You haven't watched a single one of them. I see how it is, FL. I see how it is. <laughs> it's okay, I fell. I know you don't watch my channel. It's okay, man. It's okay. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah, 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 you have, yeah, you have. It's just you watch so much of my content, sometimes you you forget which content is which content. I get it. I get it. You're not a you're not a traitor. 
Uh, how are we looking on our research tree? Grenade, power fist, yada, 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 so on and so forth. Okay, here we go. Meat and potatoes right here. Set that up. Don't care about the roll. Oh, I love that episode where your base got destroyed, wink. Hey, hey. That hasn't happened yet, actually. <laughs> okay, so we got explosive weapons coming up here pretty soon. Uh, we could build another communication sub, which I am. And we're going to need to upgrade our headquarters. How much we need? A lot more carbonium. Got it! Yeah, but how's it going, FL? I feel like it's been forever since we've uh, talked and schmoozed. Mola. What are you up to today? Business as usual, I'm assuming. The wind is very slow today. Oh, the wind is very good. Not my wind! Oh no! Halfway through the week, baby! Yeah. My Wednesday is almost over already. Molo, what's what what's 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 new in in your world? What's what's going on with you personally? You doing all right? You uh swell? I hope so. That's the armory. We got an attack inbound. Attack inbound. We have some time before the attack. Let's strengthen our defenses. Okay. You know what? Yeah. Give me a... Give me a rocket turret. Give me another artillery. I feel like we're gonna need them. Hanging in there. Might start the uh, Resident Evil series. Oh, nice. Which, uh... Which one are you on? I say do it. It's October. It's the best time for you to get viewing on it. Know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Wind is picking up again. Finally. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. New blueprints are available for crafting. You know what that means. I'm gonna do it. Gonna, gonna, gonna do it. You know what? I don't think I've given floating mines enough of a chance. Crafting completed. Let's give them, let's give them another shot, crafting guys. Completed. Okay, we'll go ahead and get our rocket launcher over here. Yeah. We'll get rid of the blaster for now, because I'm not really using it anymore anyway. There we go. No. Guess we'll wait on that. Oh, hey, bud. DBBS, or you have to dress up as Violet for Halloween. <laughs> Who's Violet? Is this is this a, a person or thing I should know? Oh, Violet from the Incredible. Why would that be the first thing I thought of? Seriously, why would that be the thing that I thought of? Like. I don't know, man. <laughs> 
comes the artillery. Oh, okay. Relax, guys. Alright, that's a lot more enemies than I thought there was gonna be. I'll be honest with you guys. We're okay. We're okay. I'm not now, Mr. Riggs. Was Violet a character in Payday? I don't remember that. Obviously. Oh, I got Jackson Pollock painting up in here. <laughs> okay, that was not too bad. Not too bad at all. It looked a little hairy there for a second, but that wasn't too bad. All things considered. Okay. Set that up. The EU chick. Right. I believe you. I believe you. you know what I'd like to try and do here for my my power woes that I'm currently having? Let's put one of these down. 